All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to do monitoring and maintaining of basic BGP. We're going to look at uh, several show commands and, and look at the different output from those show commands to, to kind of give you a, a good idea of what you can do in your network. And that's from a monitoring perspective. And then from a maintaining perspective, I'm going to cover two different ways to clear uh, the BGP sessions. Uh, one's generic and then one's neighbor specific. And we're going to be doing the, these commands here on router 2 just so that you kind of know where we're at in the network. So I'm going to start off with a show IP BGP summary. Now show IP BGP summary is real good to basically give you a, a well a summary or a snapshot of uh, what neighbors you have, uh, how long you've been up and down, and or the the number of prefixes that you have received and that you prefer from that neighbor so in this case from neighbor four we've been up for 10 minutes and 15 seconds and we have received and preferred 10 prefixes from neighbor four we also have uh, other output that's up here where it shows us what our identifier is, uh, our router ID is, which we hard-coded in, in an earlier video cheat sheet. It also lets us know what our local AS is. And, and there's lots of various different kinds of information, but generally the show IP BGP summary is used to see a real quick snapshot of what neighbor adjacencies you have and whether they're up or down. And then you can also see how many prefixes you are receiving and preferring from each neighbor. So now let's do a show IP BGP. This is going to show you your BGP table. And usually you look at these two things right here. If it has a star next to it, the route is valid, like all these are, except for this one. This one has an R next to it, which stands for it's, it's, it's in rib failure, which means it not only has that prefix in its BGP table, but it also has it in its um, IGP table, or that it may be directly connected. But uh, but then also you normally look at this right here, which we looked at in a previous video cheat sheet with next hop reachability, is which prefix is best. So those are the two things you usually try to key in on, uh, whether the, the route is valid and whether or not the route is best. That also shows you the next hop to get to these prefixes. Remember in an earlier video cheat sheet, we originated a default route via BGP from router 6.6.6.6, .6 .6, which is router 6. There's other good information here, the path that it came from, this came from AS3, this came from AS2. If it just has an I, that means it's, it, uh, the origin code is IGP, but it basically means that it was originated within your autonomous system. So let's do a show IP BGP and a particular prefix. So not just generically, but a, a specific prefix. So I, I took this prefix right here and so I did a show IP BGP on it and it gives a little bit more detail about the prefix we see that um, we learned it from our route reflector router 4 and the ultimate the final destination is router 7 so we know it came from router 7 through router 4 to router 2 we know that we learned about it at internal which means that we learned it via IBGP this is the best path that we have for it and uh, there's this other things in here with metric and and but really what you look for with a show IP BGP and you specify the prefix you look for your next hop and who ultimately originated it all right so let's do a show IP BGP neighbors and there's just tons and tons of, of, of information in here and we've looked at a little bit where we've looked at description you for that particular neighbor you see what the remote AS is you see it's an internal link which means it's an IBGP session there's a description that you set there's a lot of really good information in there and then you can look at specific neighbors like right here we just looked at 4.4.4.4 and so this is the way that you can look at just a specific neighbor and not all of them let's look at clear IP BGP this is where you can clear a specific BGP session and you can do that either you can do a splat where you clear all the peers or you can specify a specific peer. So those are some of the monitoring and ma maintaining basic BGP commands that you can do to monitor and maintain BGP in your network.